EA Games. Challenge everything. A media storm is brewing. RKO Pictures. It seems Hearst is none too fond of radio writer turned director Orson Welles. Hearst claims Welles' new film, Citizen Kane, is taking inflammatory shots. Usually didn't last very long. No matter how much training you got or how strong you are, when you strap up and step on a battlefield for the first time, it changes you forever. Terrell was just another strip of sand out in the middle of nowhere, but for many of us, it would be the last thing we ever saw. Tommy! I'll see you on the beach!
Maggot, Puke, Worm, and Scumbag. Just a few of the names I was given by my beloved drill instructor in the summer of 1941. Before then, my biggest problem was delivering groceries and not breaking the eggs. Now every time I turn around, some crazy Jap's trying to gut me. I remember asking the recruitment officer, What's the deal with you guys? I swear to God, he looked right through me and he said, Deal? We're Marines, son. And we deal in lead. Next thing I knew, I was on a train for San Diego. Soldiering for the Corps. Boot camp. beginning was God. All else was darkness. So God created the heavens and the earth. He divided the earth between land and sea, and these he filled with many assorted creatures. The dark, slimy creatures of the oceans God called sailors, and he dressed them accordingly. The flighty creatures of the air he called airmen, and these he clothed in uniforms which were ruffled and foul. The lower creatures of the land God called soldiers, and he gave them trousers too short, covers too long, and pockets to warm their hands. And on the seventh day, as you know, God rested. And on the eighth day, at all 500 hours, God looked down upon the earth and was not happy. God was not happy! So he thought about his labors, and in his infinite wisdom, God created a divine creature, and this he called a Marine. And these Marines whom God created in his own image were to be of the air, the land, and the sea. And these he gave practical fighting uniforms, so that they could wage war against the forces of Satan and evil. And he gave them evening and dress uniforms so they might score with the ladies on Saturday night and impress the hell out of everybody. And at the end of the eighth day, God looked down upon the earth and saw that it was good. But was God happy? No! Because in the course of his labors, he had forgotten one thing. He did not have a Marine uniform, but he thought about it and satisfied himself in knowing that, well, not everybody can be a Marine. This puts me one step above God because I am a Marine. You remember that and we'll get along just fine. Now you maggots have exactly three minutes until I expect you standing at attention outside. Fall out! Whew. He scares me, Frank. I think maybe he is God. Well, Jimmy, just keep your head down and do what he says and we won't have to find out. Willie, you coming? Oh, yeah, Frank. Oh, hey, Tommy, right? Uh, Tommy Conlon? Uh, my name's Willie Gaines. This here's Frank Minoso and Jimmy Sullivan. Where are you from, Tommy? Oregon. You? Guys, let's head out. We don't want to piss off God, do we? Today is the day we separate the men from the girls. 
You little pukes will learn the basic necessities for survival, and then maybe, I said maybe, you will become a part of the United States Marine Corps. Are you ready? Aye, Sergeant! Now, Baker Squad, you are to sit tight and wait for your babysitter to show up. I am not him. Naval Squad, I want to see you ladies hightail it over to my obstacle course on the double. Move out! I want to see nothing but asses and elbows, ladies! Let's make them proud, boys. Stick together. You got it, Frank. Come on, Jimmy. Tommy? So you better do it my way, and you better like it! Come on, boys. We can do this better than that group. Let's show them what we got. Now get over that wall! Not bad, ladies! Now run through those tunnels! This here in front of you is the Marine's mud pit! Think of it as your own little swamp! Move out! Now get on your bellies and crawl like the worst you are! If you get out of the fire, I will leave you! Now move it! We don't have all day, sweetheart! Get up and over those ladders! Said it. Knock it off, you two. That was the hard part. Let's move! Who died and made him boss? Welcome to my firing range! You will listen to every word I say! I have not lost a single scumbag on my firing line, and I will not lose one today! Do you ladies understand me? Oh, now gather up some ammo, pick a spot on the range, and we'll get to work! Take one box each, boys. One box each. at the target in front of you. 
If you hit one, and I mean the bullseye, wait for it to be replaced with a new one. If you move, it will not be very accurate. So keep those boots planted. If you kneel down, you will be more accurate. And getting down in the dirt is even better. So try all three positions. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. Stand by, targets. Fire! Target! Germany and me and this rifle will win that war all by our lonesomes. Okay, Chief, Ryan. That's a pretty fair shoot. Let's see what you boots can do with the auto. You four head back to the ammo table and Corporal Bates there will issue you each an M1928A1 Thompson submachine gun. Do not let those rifles hit the dirt, maggots. These weapons are fully automatic, but that does not mean that you should just spray and pray. Take your time to aim and fire the weapon in short bursts only. Not bad, man, not bad. Get your rifles back up and let's move on to the heavier stuff. You fall with the rifles! The MP here will continue to supervise your apparent lack of shooting prowess. Let's go, men. Hold up, Private. I'm gonna need to take those weapons from you. First things first. Private Conlon, grab that demolition charge from the table. You'll see behind me that we have some beat up jalopies. Today, we're gonna blast the living hell out of them. Private Conlon here is gonna get things started. Private, get your sorry tail down there and plant that charge on one of those cars. That thing is live, so watch yourself. Now get your butt back up here, Private! Good work, Private Conlon. You may just yet make PFC. Let's move over to the grenade station.
All right, pick up a couple grenades. Don't worry, ladies, these are training grenades. You think I would trust you with a real grenade? No! Pull the pin and let them fly. See if you can hit some of those barrels out there. Congratulations, Private! Looks like we have ourselves a ball player, ladies! Very well, pond scum. Some of you could do better, but it'll do. You don't need those anymore, Private. Now here we have my personal favorite. The M1919A430 caliber machine gun. I want two men. One is to act as a spotter and reloader. The other will fire the weapon. Come on, Tommy. Hey, You may notice we have a fine piece of kraut craftsmanship on the mortar range. Well, you maggots are the first to get a crack at busting that jerry cab into scrap. The first recruit who gets his mortar set up and hits that truck will win my never-ending incredulous surprise! Your heavy weapons proficiency has been duly... Except maybe for Minoso here, I most seriously doubt any of you will ever be in charge of anything but your own sorry-ass existence. However, there will be times when lives depend on one of you maggots making the right call in the field. I expect each of you to rise to such an occasion. Sullivan, there is a Marine bleeding to death in the open. You cannot reach him without support. Let me hear your call for suppressing fire. Suppressing fire! And also, you're one aggressive son of a bitch. I bet you'll be charging headlong into hell for the core. Let me hear you tell these pansies to move up with you. Move up! Outstanding. Gaines, you, on the other hand, strike me as someone who'll turn tail and piss himself at the sight of an advancing enemy. Am I right? No drill, Sergeant! Well, ain't that a shame? If the combat situation dictates, you may need to do just that. You are heavily outnumbered, Private, so you better tell your squad mates to fall back. Fall back! Good. I don't care if you're sucking face with Rita Hayworth herself. You hear a Marine call out, you best respond. Private Conlon, you are being fired upon. Your squad is out of position. You need to get your fire team back into formation. So let's hear you rally these boys! Marines, rally up! Good, let's go! All right, men. That's enough for today. Good work out there. But oh my god, Gaines! You've just been shot! Hit the deck! I said hit the deck! Now, there's two things to do if and when you are hit by an enemy in combat. Number one, 
apply pressure to the wound. Next, if you can, call for a corpsman. If you're lucky, one will be around somewhere nearby. Private Sullivan, I understand you have a medical background. Yes, Sergeant. Well, lucky us. Make your way over there a bit and play doc for us. Conlon, you take Private Gaines over to dock to get him patched up and then hightail it back over here ASAP. Careful where you squeeze me there, Tommy. Hey, thanks for the ride, Tommy. Well done, Private Conlon. But you've just been shot as well! Hit the deck! Apply pressure to that wound, Private, or we will lose you! Now, call on that corpsman so we can get you patched up and back into action. All right, men. Good work today. I do believe that with a little more work, you may have a fighting chance. Let's get scrubbed up for mass. Move out! As German forces begin to move towards the city... For more than two centuries, the United States Marine Corps has fought for freedom. But their infamy, their legend, was forged during the hell of World War II. Triumph cannot exist without hardship. And the price of victory is paid in the blood of men. Faith, courage, and sacrifice paved their road. And that long journey began in the early hours of December 7th. 1941. Scenery. Looking good, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. You could pick a worse place to spend your time, let me tell you. Chief McAfee escorting Private Thomas Conlon. Uh, yes, sir. Private Conlon. You're clear to proceed. Welcome to Pearl. That's the officer's quarters back there. But you and I work for a living, so that's probably the last time you'll see the place. Anyway, that big building up there is Paquette Hall, enlisted quarters. Hell, those guys even have a swimming pool. 
Rough going, let me tell you. That's Admiral Kimmel's place. Sink back headquarters. He can come across a little stiff, but he's on the level. Hell, I guess I wouldn't relax much either in his shoes. Chief of the Pacific and all. Or what's left of it anyway. They send a couple more Hitler's way every week now. Rest of the area is mostly the submarine base. Yeah, those bubbleheads kind of keep to themselves, you know? It's being cooped up like that all the time. Makes them a little crazy. That big one's the dive tower where they practice rescue. But you get in trouble in a sub, there ain't much anybody can do. Fish Food City. <laughs> Say hey, Joe. Yankees call you up yet? Ah, uh, I think they're having a hard time finding me, Chief. I got a PT skipper who's gonna give you a ride over. But you pulled a cherry assignment. Arizona just got an overhaul in 31. Yeah, she's a good ship. Look at these bombs loafing off up here. Good thing the war's in the other ocean. I uh, hope I'm not interrupting. Absolutely not, sir. Just going over the latest specs with the men, sir. You guys ready to get this foot slug over to the AZ? Sure thing, sir. What the hell? Sheesh. Damn army, guys. Somebody's gonna catch hell for buzzing HQ like that. Got it, army! Look at the meatballs on the wing!
yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I regret to tell you that very many American lives have been lost. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. With the ability to oversee foreign communications amongst the Allied forces, this is Mitchell Ross. Dear Dad, sorry I haven't written in a while, but I'm back in action again. It's been nearly eight months since the Japs hit us at Pearl, and we've been running ragged ever since. They gave me a 30-day furlough after the attack, and followed that with 90 days of special training. I've joined the 2nd Raider Battalion, led by a man named Carlson. These guys are considered the elite, so I'm excited to be among them. A lot of the boys are saying, now that we won at Midway, it's time to turn the tables and start taking the fight to them. I guess that's what we're doing now. We're raiding a small island that the Japs are hunkered down on, in hopes of creating a diversion for a much larger attack that well, I can't tell you about right now. The Major says most of us will end up there soon enough anyhow, but I'm trying to stay focused on the task at hand. Maybe the best part about me joining the Raiders is, I'm with my buddies from boot camp again. They weren't at Pearl, but they've been through their own hell at places like Bataan and the East Indies. Don't know how much of that news has made its way home. Anyway, you'd love these guys, Dad. Frank Minoso's from Jersey is about the size of a truck. He's always clamoring on about his way with the ladies, but if there's such a thing as a natural leader, it's him. Jimmy Sullivan's a corpsman from Illinois who dropped out of med school to join the Navy. I get the feeling he comes from money, but none of that matters where we are. And then, there's Willie Gaines. Willie is a five-foot country boy from North Carolina who can't weigh but a buck ten soaking wet. But he is an ace with a rifle. They're all solid guys. I'll write again soon. My love to everyone back home. Tom. Nice weather for a boat ride, huh, guys? Listen, boat. This is your first action. So the most important thing you need to remember is to keep quiet and listen. What the hell did we bring a rookie for I... anyway? What did I just say? The Sarge will brief us on the beach. Now keep your eyes on the shore and your trap shut. You okay up there, Tommy? It's good to see you again. Double time, let's move! Okay, men. The Japs have an anthill located in a nearby village that we've got to take out. We have a recon bird flying over soon to gauge resistance. I want light and noise discipline. Hand signals only. Minoso, take Baker team. I'm with Abel. Rendezvous at checkpoint Whiskey. Questions? No, sir. Good. Now remember, we're here to cause as much damage as we can and then get the hell out of Dodge. Now get moving. Charlie Squad, hide the rafts and secure the beachhead. Okay, I want a loose column formation. 
I'll take point. Willie, you watch our six. Stay in formation, guys, and watch for my hand signals. Let's go! Hey, Sarge, what did the captain mean when he said we're looking for an anthill? It means radio antennas, a comm center. Now stay quiet! In the bush, take him out. In the way, let's hit it. Jack's in the bush, take him out. Time is up. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's Take it down! Move on! Here's one! I'm moving up! Move it, y'all! Jabs! Up ahead! Okay, covering fire! Okay, cover fire! Squad, advance! 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 I can't see him! Where'd he go? There's one! I lost him! Drag! Reloading! Here they come! Here they come! Woohoo! Yeah! Nail that sucker! Move! 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 Go! 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 There's a job! I can't see him! Sorry, Sarge. I just, he shot himself in the foot. Hey, you think you'll get a purple heart for that? I swear, you rookies are all the same. That's enough, Doyle! What gives, Rook? Sniper! Take cover! Watch the trees! Let's go, boys! I see him up there! Watch down there! So 
Can you hear me? Rook, what are they saying? They said there's a truck coming. They're gonna move that gun. I guess that answers why he came along. So what do you think, Frank? Let's take it out. Tommy, you and Jimmy go left and take position behind those crates. I'll go right with the Rook. Willie, you stay here. Once we're in position, you pop one of them and we'll cover the flanks. Nobody moves until Willie shoots. Go!
demo charge on that artillery and let's keep moving. Any time, Conlin. It's gonna blow! All right, let's move! Careful, Tommy! We're coming! Pull back! Uh. Come on, y'all! Pull back! Pull back! Careful, everyone. We're not out of the woods yet. Okay, Able Team's ready. We'll go on my mark. This trench is just beyond the waterline, so use grenades to root them up, but keep moving. Do not stop in the water, or you're dead. Here we go, boys. Throw a grenade, Jim! Move it, y'all! Yeah! 
Gats up ahead! I can't see him! Get him! Go, go, go! Let's take it to him! Move up! Muzzle flash! Get down! Let's go! I'm going! I'm moving up! Great shot! Bullseye, Tom! Reloading! Get him, boys!
Advance! Advance! Squad, advance! Moving in! Look 
Grab a knee and catch your breath. We're heading out in five. Great work, man. We're halfway home, man. Baker Squad! Your objective is to destroy the island's fuel supply. I'm gonna take Abel and scout out our extraction point. Good job taking out that tower. Those planes never knew we were here. After we cleared out the village, we headed into the jungle. Frank said the only thing more important than taking out their communications is getting rid of their fuel supply. This little island's a gas station for the Jap Navy and could be a key to Guadalcanal. Our plan is to blow the fuel dump and get the hell out of Dodge. All right, boys. This road here should lead straight to the fuel dump. It'll be crawling with Japs, so stick to the bush as much as you can. Tommy, take point and keep your eyes peeled for side routes. Let me see. Let me see. Heads up! Jabs on the move! Yeah. Heads up, kid! Let's go. Don't punch up! Let's go! Right 
That's all of them. <笑>俺も<笑> See him! Where'd he go? Where is he? 
Warm up, boys. Still got a ways to go.
All of them. Move it, yo! I'm moving up! Move up! Keep moving! Heads up, yo! Get ready, they're coming! They're moving, up. They're moving in! You got him, Tommy! Okay, let's have a look. He's up! That's it! Can you hear me?
go! Let's go! I'm moving up! Should be better than hoofing it. Let's go, boys.
straight through. Roger that, Abel. Out. You heard the man. Let's find that crash site. Move out! Jabs down there. Right, let's get going before they notice us up here.
Move up! They're retreating! Let's get them!
They're moving Hands up! Hands up, yo! Get ready! They're coming! Right here, yo! Keep it up, guys! I'm getting there! Here they come, yo! Here they come! Hands up, yo! They're moving up! Watch out! Here they come! Get ready!
subs are here! Get to your rafts! Go, go, go! Anybody seen Willie? Tommy, we gotta track down Willie! Let's see if you can find him, but watch your back! I told us Macon was a success, but it's hard leaving that place feeling good about all the guys who won't be going home. Our squad was due some R&R &R after the raid, but I guess someone upstairs has taken notice of our handiwork, so we're being diverted to Guadalcanal. 
The 1st Marine Division landed there a few weeks ago and secured an airfield the Japs were trying to finish. The jungle surrounding the Strip is still up for grabs, so our first job is to solve that problem, and then we push the bastards right off the island. Gunnery Sergeant Minoso, huh? Cut it out, Willie. Yeah, get off it already. That's right, Willie. You got a problem with that? Not a problem, Gunny. Just wondering why you. I mean, everyone knows that Tommy's the hero of the group. Quit stirring the pot, Willie. Or what about Jimmy? I mean, where would we be without the good doctor saving our hides all the time? Or hey, you know what? What about me? Remember that one guy in that tree get I potted? Clear! Exit fast! Stripes come from up high, you redneck. Oh, I know where they come from. I'm just making sure you're not pulling our legs is all. You know, like when you talk about how much the ladies love you. Oh, you're a cocky little son of a bitch. I put up with your crap since boot camp. Well, what's that? Yeah, I can't hear you, Gunny. It's kind of loud here. Get it, well, I guess we'll talk later then. Okay, buddy. All that hardware we rode in with has to stay intact. So we're gonna take the long way around to make sure the flank is secure. Nikki, I want you to scout ahead. Move quietly, but move fast. Go. Okay, boys. We're not far from the airfield, but this is still no man's land, so it ain't gonna be no walk in the park. Watch each other's backs and try not to get dead, all right? Let's do this. Let's go! 
I know we go way back, but I'm in charge now. I say go left, you go left. Keep disobeying orders and we're gonna have a problem. Now let's move out! Pipe down, Willie. Yeah, that's me, Mac. Colonel Edson is waiting for you and your men over at the pagoda. What the hell with that? I'm out of here! Hush! Get your ass back here! Walk in the park, huh, guys? Everyone else okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. yeah good, good. Okay. All right, we gotta take out that Artie. Let's move it. According to the intel Tommy found, the artillery should be just around the bend here. Let's go right and see if we can flank it. Come on. Tommy, you gotta get up there! 
Toss some pineapples on that nest. We'll cover you. Cover me! Hey, Gunny! Look what I found over here! Be careful! Damn it! Nobody touch nothing! They booby-trapped the place, Frank! No kidding! Tommy blowed his cannon and let's get the hell out of here. Who knows what else they have waiting for us. Fire in the hole! Demo's hot! Watch it! Advance! 
advance! Go, go, go! Okay, let's have a look. Okay, good to go. Tom! Tom, I'm flanking! 
Watch it! We got jabs! Watch your ammo! I'm flanking, watch my back! I can't see him! Where'd he go? Oh! Right there! Check your weapons, we're moving on. I'm glad you guys finally showed up. We're hoping for a little more support, but you'll have to do. Actually, sir, we're just on our way back to Henderson. Ah, so... shoot, don't listen to him. What you got cooking? Well, there's been a lot of activity on the river here. We figured the Japs are getting ready to hit the airfield, and our scouts spotted a couple of them moving just a few... Be careful, Private! best we can, but tell the Colonel we need backup, all right? Roger that. Let's move! Let's go, boys!
squad! It's about time something went right today. That's it! 
Think that's it? Got me in the... Good shot, Willie! Behind the rock, Willie! Let's take it, Tom! Come on, let's go! Good one, Tom! Hold up, fellas. I gotta catch my breath. Lily pad, lollipop. Man, you guys were this close to getting it. The Japs have been probing this position for days. The Colonel's expecting you guys. He's over by the hangars.
We held the airfield and named it Henderson after a major we lost at Midway. All we can do now is hold the strip as best we can and wait for reinforcements. The Jap ships are shelling us at night. Planes are picking us off during the day. An attack is coming soon. We can all feel it. We just don't know when. Colonel Edson put us up along a ridge to the south of Henderson. This is where he thinks the Japs will hit us. Man, I hope he's wrong. Whew. It's been a long time since I've seen a face like that. She's real pretty, man. Yeah. We're supposed to get married when I get back. I know I talk a big game about the ladies, Tom, but, um... All right. Listen up and listen good. I need you, man, focused on the here and now. We are all that stands between the Japanese and our brand new airfield. If they take it, we might as well pack our bags, boys. Our patrols have been running into increasing resistance, and we believe the attack will occur tonight right here. We have a series of defensive positions along these ridges. You men up front will hold your position until you have fired your last bullet. Only then should you fall back. If we find ourselves backed up to the artillery camp, well, then there is no more falling back. Now, all of you have brothers that are now dead. It will all be in vain if we lose Henderson. We will hold the line or die trying.
Then get down there and make sure there's nothing big brewing. Keep sharp. All these patrols can only mean one thing. There's a large force somewhere in this jungle. Nice one, Tommy! get back up to the ridge, but we should probably check the bodies for intel first.
You got one of that out.
All right, gather round. Well, the Navy gave us a ride, and the Army will guard the land we took. As Marines, your fortitude was put to the test this evening, and this godforsaken hill is a testament to your fighting spirit. Someday you will tell your sons how you fought with courage at a place called Bloody Ridge. Boys, it has been an honor to fight alongside you tonight. Now let's tend to the wounded and collect our dead. God bless the Corps. Carry on. Conlon, I am recommending you get the Silver Star for this one. Simply amazing job out there. All of you. Since the battle at Bloody Ridge, life has become a seemingly endless patrol. Day after night, our squad's in the jungle, searching for bunkers, command centers, and taking out artillery emplacements. I think some of the guys are really starting to feel the toll of all this. The long nights battling back the Japs. Lack of food. Jungle sickness we all get at one point or another. We sure don't feel like heroes. Just feel lucky to be alive at this point. You never know when your number's gonna be called. That was a Jap rifle if I've ever heard one. Conlon, you and Gaines go scout the right fork of the river. Make sure our flank will be clear when we move past. Gonna need you guys to run light, so toss me your Thompson, Conlon. If you see anything, get back here ASAP. Got it? Sergeant! Poor bastard. Nobody touch him. He may be booby-trapped. Move out, Conlon. Time it, Tommy. Get down. Get out your glasses. See anything? Tommy? Got here. 
違います我々はすでに本部から5キロ以上離れております状況を理解されていないようですがすでに我々は遅れておりますタミー See if you can make it to that machine gun I'll watch your back 
Ben! <laughs> nice job, kid! Damn mosquitoes, how much farther we gotta go, Frank? I don't like the look of this.
them! the village up ahead. We gotta sweep him out. Let's move. Blow these supplies and move on. Conlon, use one of your satchel charges. 
Went straight through. You'll be fine. you are there? Where's your command post? Ah, useless. All right, men, quit your gawking. Their base has to be somewhere nearby. From the Lunga River, we're moving west towards a small village where Sarge figures the Japs are hunkered down, waiting to smack us in the mouth. We've been hopping these valleys for days now, and I don't think any of the boys have gotten a wink of sleep. I'm starting to wonder what's gonna kill me first, the Japs or the jungle. Eyes and ears on me. Beyond those hills, the Japs have a village where they've holed up a bunch of artillery. Guns they're using to pound the crap out of our new airstrip. Now we all know that this ain't gonna be no cakewalk. It's their last stand, and I'm not expecting these Japs to give up without a hell of a fight. We're in the ass end of the world, boys, and I don't feel like writing letters to your folks, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. You get me? I hear yes, you. sir. Yeah. Roger that. All right. I want a loose column formation. Let's move out. Come <laughs> on. 
The village is just ahead. Now listen, our primary objective is to destroy any artillery we find in the area. But we also gotta keep our eyes peeled for friendlies. We've lost some patrols around here, and if there are any survivors, they're probably holed up in these hills. Look, they may not be why we were sent out here, but Marines never leave a man behind. Now let's go take care of business.
heads down, guys. I'm running low on bandages.
Oh, save your ammo! That's it! Hold your fire!
Let's have a look. Dogs are barking. Oh, give me a second here.
job, Tommy. Let's make sure there ain't any survivors and then get the hell out of here. You did a heck of a job, Tommy. Willie. You too, Frank. Yeah, same to you, fellas. Hey, Jimmy. You all right? Yeah, just another day in paradise. Let's head back to Henderson. They'll be glad to know this rock now belongs to the Marines. Hey, you know, it could be worse, Doc. You could be in the Army, have to clean up all this mess. <laughs> Once we secured Guadalcanal, the brass saw fit to give us a little R&R &R with the Flyboys. They're good guys. I'd tag along on recon trips and even got me a little stick time over the Big Blue. Man, I am gonna miss this place. But vacation's over. We're supposed to rendezvous with the Allied fleet and join the 2nd Marines for an assault on some place called Tarawa. Hey, Willie, you've done your share for Old Glory. If you could have anything from Uncle Sam, What'd it be? Ah, I'd want to take your sister out for a ride in one of these babies. Ha <laughs> ha hear that one, Tommy? Gotta get our heads back in the game now. We keep finding ourselves talking more and more about home. What about you, Frank? Me? A shower. A long, hot shower. Now that I can appreciate. With your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you better hope I don't catch you, Sullivan! <laughs> Hell, at least we're going in style. Nothing beats a ride in a darkness. Ah, you're kidding me! What's wrong, Captain? Over! The skinny one just puked in my bird. <laughs> All right, Willie. Way to go. <laughs> he never been in a plane before? Over. What the hell? He's never been anywhere before. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, Captain, but I see planes on the horizon, 11 o'clock low. Over. Yeah, I see him. I'll check with control. It's probably our escort. Stand by. Over. Pair off. Weapons hot and engaged, boys. Ah, oh, crap. They ain't friendly, Tommy. Hit that pedal by your foot and get that gun ready. Be careful not to hit out our own tail, all right?
Shoot! Over! Negative. Just a May West. All right, listen, son. You gotta get into that cockpit and control that bird. Get moving!
152, Cap. Frank, you still with me? Yeah, I'm low on ammo and need to change my shorts, but I'm still here. Over. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Willie, you good back there? Well, I ain't no natural fighter ace like Tommy Boy, but yeah, I'm good. Over. Okay, let's cut the chatter. Our fleet's up ahead and we gotta get Tommy ready to land this bird. I'll talk you through it, kid. Don't worry. Over. Captain, I just heard from the Independents. PBY spotted Danny and is picking him up. Ah, that's great. Over. Yeah, but... Weird thing is, they say they don't have visual on us. Over. Come on, Pete. How can we see them but they can't see us? Over. That's what bothers me. There's only one reason. Over. You gotta be kidding me. You wanna skin out, Cap? Over. Hey, what the hell's going on? All right, listen. That isn't our fleet up ahead. It's a Jap carrier destroyer. Now, we can't run because they've already seen us and we'll only lead them to our ships. We don't have a choice. We just gotta give them hell, boys. We'll hit the carrier first, put a hole in the deck, and keep their zeros grounded. Mike, Pete, you keep those fighters off us. Roger that. Roger, Captain. Unlock ordnance. We're gonna need everything we've got. Tommy, you got four bombs and a fish, so use them wisely. God be with you guys. Over.
Tommy. Great shooting. He got them both? This kid's unbelievable. Ah, that's great work, Tommy. Great work. You see that, Mikey? Over. Mikey! Uh, he and Frank had the bull for our fleet. Said that they was getting low on fuel. Over. All right, then. Let's get out of here before anyone else shows up. Pete, you made contact yet? Over. I did, Captain. USS Independence is nearby. Follow my tail and let's go home. Over. Roger that. Pete's on lead. Let's go. Over. President of the United States to the overseas in a war against the Axis powers. We'll have more information.
We're gonna steamroller the place until hell wouldn't have it. That's what the Navy's telling us anyway. Man, I want to believe him, but the boldest statements always come from the guys who don't go ashore. All night I listened to our ships pounding Tarawa. And at dawn I saw the island for the first time. Sure don't look like much. That's what scares me. That and they gave us steak and eggs this morning. And they've never done that before. But this part of the ocean is the doorway to Japan's home islands. So that's why we're here. And that's why they're there. usually didn't last very long. No matter how much training you got or how strong you are, when you strap up and step on a battlefield for the first time, it changes you forever. Tarot was just another strip of sand out in the middle of nowhere, but for many of us, it would be the last thing we ever saw. The only bright spot in all this is that somewhere, Frank is resting up in a nice, clean hospital, probably chasing after all the pretty nurses. At least I know that one of my brothers in this war is safe. It's funny, but it seems like Frank got the best of the deal. The rest of us have another island to take. All we can do is hope that we make it out alive. Tommy! I'll see you on the beach!
They can't get an angle on those guns! We're gonna have to clear that ship ourselves! That guy's got a sniper rifle! We can use it on the wreck! Let's get out of here!
intel shows four batteries ahead. Let's sweep the area and take out those guns. You think we can take them? Yeah, Let's we go. better. Go, go, go. There's a jab. On top. Come on, yo. Come on, let's go.
Get a grenade on that guy! Nail that sucker!
out! Charge is hot! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Look out! Charge is hot! Message from battalion command. You know where they're at? Yeah, they're dead. We're coming, Tom. Wait up. Go get him. He needs help. make a hell of a bang when this place goes up. Good a time to find out as any. Tommy, y'all want the honors? Everybody go! Get clear! Get down, y'all!
That's just how Frank would have done it. Stay focused, ladies. We gotta take out their comm center. Any shore batteries along the way, we take them down. Let's go. There's a jet. Great shot, Will.
must not! Go, go, go! Let go, boy! Watch it!
sucker! Be right there! Move back! Move back, guys! Look out! Charge is hot! Hands up! Enemy Come on! The candle! Let's have a look. Check above us! Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire!
this! Keep your head down, Mac! There's snipers all over the place, they know we're in here! They're charging! Trying to see what we got. Well, save your ammo. That's it. The rest of them will be here. That's over. Just go to hell.
There's one!
Where's he at? Hold your fire! He's up! That's it! Captain! How in the hell are we supposed to get in there? You're not! I ain't sending you boys to die! Sullivan! Get on that radio and call down the thunder! They're up there! Thunder! This is lightning! Heads up! They're moving in suppression! T R D! Whiskey 6-9! Get up there and check it out! They're coming! Because because they're up. charging! They're charging! Ah. Think that's it? Yeah, I think you're right. Claire! Where's Old Glory? Get her up here! Runner, to the front! November 23rd, 1943. When the smoke had cleared, more than 5,000 American and Japanese men had lost their lives on a beach not much wider than a few football fields. A Japanese admiral once said, we couldn't take Tarawa with a million men in a hundred years. Well, the Marines did it in three days. And now it's over. But of course it ain't really over. The road to Tokyo is a long one. We're only halfway there. But son of a bitch, we're alive. Hopefully we've earned a little rest, but... Tyranny doesn't sleep. And freedom? Well, it's anything but free. Devil Dogs! On your feet! We're moving out! So I get down to the sick bay for my vaccinations, and there's these two nurses standing there. 
you know, giving everyone their shots. And one of these dames looks like Grable. I mean, wow, long legs. <laughs> but the other one looks like Gable, complete with pencil mustache. I'm not kidding you, fellas. So I get in line, and all the time I'm thinking, oh, God, I volunteered for this tour. Give me the one that looks like Grable. So I get up near the front of the line, and the only guy in front of me is this scrawny little kid with freckles and wire brush for hair. And this little bastard's going to get Grable. I mean, her uniform is sticking way out to here. Ain't no way I'm going to get stuck with Red Butler in a dress. So the gorgeous dame turns to Freckleface and asks him if he's afraid of needles. I tell you, fellas, wherever this kid is from, all the women must be flat-chested, because all he can do is stare at her with his mouth hanging open. So I shove him aside and I tell Grable that a real Marine ain't afraid of no pointy objects. Just then Gable steps up, shoves a needle in my arm and says, A real Marine has enough manners to wait in line. And I turn to her and say, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. and Tony Romano. For AFR original airings of the Command Performances, GI Journal, and Mail Call.